Hey everybody, it's Eric here from i525XL. Today is Monday, June 13th. Just bringing you another update on the tank. Um, I think it's almost been a month. Um, luckily, nothing drastic to report, which is always a good thing in the reefing hobby. Um, the corals themselves are doing pretty good. Um, I have moved my rastas down there on their own with that rock, and then I just put the torch coral up on its own rock in the same area. Um, mainly because what was happening is the tentacles were kind of reaching down and stinging the zoas. So I decided to break up that fight so everybody's happy. The uh, Florida Recordia is looking pretty nice. Not everything's out full yet. I think the lights have been on for about an hour. Uh, but the Recordia is looking pretty good. Favia is getting some growth, sort of encrusting down onto the rock from the plug. It's kind of a slow grower, but um, nevertheless, I'm happy with it. I think the, cor the, sorry, the color's a little dull for me. Um, so I am still dosing potassium to see if I can help that out. Uh, nine mils a day, I think is what I'm doing today. Torch coral is looking pretty fuzzy and happy. Um, hairy tip mushrooms branching off on the tank. I think one broke off down in the back there, uh, separated. So the mushrooms are looking good. The Acropora, uh, the pistachio on the right hand side is not doing anything. I mean, it's alive, it's just not growing. Um, I think it's because of my big badass coral here. Um, leather coral, uh, but um, nevertheless, it's just, it's existing, <laughs> it's encrusting. Um, the one in the middle, which is the one I got for free when I lost my shipment from the um, the LFS, uh, really branching out quite a bit, which is nice. The bird's nest is got some new growth on the tips you can see. I don't know if it's hard to see, I'll try and zoom in, but uh, it's got some white on the tips there, so it's growing a bit. Green leather is looking pretty good. Duncan is happy as a pig in mud. Um, I got my eagle eyes was there, GSP and more, more mushrooms as you can see. So the corals themselves are doing good, the fish are doing well. Um, my last update was the fire goby. I found him wedged in one of these squares which is pretty freaky. Um, I actually you can see the hole I cut there uh, to get him free. I have not seen him since unfortunately so he is gone. I have one left in there. Uh, unfortunate but not much I could uh, do to avoid that. I mean the mesh is there to keep them in. Um, the odds of him getting stuck in that square are pretty wild. Um, other than that, I've got some work to do with these little guys, the Asterina. Um, I'm going to have to start plucking them out by hand, I think. I don't really want to buy a shrimp to eat them and have it starve to death. I think it's a little cruel. <laughs> um, although I'm sure there's enough in there to keep it fed for quite some time. So I'm going to try and just siphon them out with a um, turkey baster and uh, kind of control the population a bit. So um, the other thing I noticed is my phosphates are now back down to zero. Uh, I don't know why. So now I'm feeding two sheets of nori or seaweed anyway. So I'm feeding the, uh, this stuff here. Hopefully you can zoom in uh, the sea veggies. So I'm doing two sheets of that every day just for the rabbit fish species in here. Uh, so one in the afternoon, one in the evening. And then in the afternoon, I'm feeding the rest of them some uh, pellets. Um, where is it? Hang on. Yeah, this stuff here. I think I've shown you this stuff before. So I'm feeding them this stuff um, right now. Not in huge amounts, uh, but that's in the afternoon. And then the evening, I do another sheet of the seaweed plus a half a cube of brine shrimp. And that's really for the fire goby because he's more of a carnivore than a herbivore or not even an omnivore, really. So uh, my feeding's good. I'm not, I'm not, I don't think I'm overfeeding, uh, but again, the phosphates dropped to zero. My nitrates are at 9.8. Uh, I'll post all my parameters here. Um, you'll notice also my calcium is a little high. It's uh, just over 500, which is not normal. Um, so I, mean, I am seeing a spike there, but I'm not too concerned with it yet. Uh, other than that, I'd, I'd say I'm pretty happy with how everything's going. Uh, no major disasters. Everything down below is good. Uh, I still have the uh, Aqua Aero Duo on during the day, off during the night and the torque um, with the carbon media on during the night, off during the day. I'm still running the CO2 media, which I got to replace, it's look a little pink. Um, just in the middle of doing some water testing, so that's the parameters I'm gonna post up um, on this video. Um, other than that, everything's pretty good. I just actually cleaned off the narrow fives. Um, this guy on the side was making a kind of a weird grinding noise, so I figured it's probably time to clean them up. Haven't done it in quite some time, so I just did a little citric acid bath for them. 
and then scrub them clean and plop them back in. So I did that over the, uh, over the weekend. So they're all nice and clean again. Turbo snails are really doing a bang up job in there in terms of keeping a lot of the uh, nuisance algae down. Um, especially on the glass, I would say. The rocks don't have any on them. So uh, they're doing a great job in there. Glad I added them. Um, kind of limits down my cleaning for sure. Um, other than that, I'm, I'm pretty happy with the way the tank's going. As I say, no complaints. Everybody seems to be happy. My only fatality was that one fire goby. So, um, so I, I guess that's it for today for my post. Oh, you can see the diamond or yellow diamond goby out there hanging around. I had my starfish. Oh, yeah, I think he's just behind the fox face there in the gravel. I noticed one of his uh, arms are going back, which is good. That was the one I was missing when I bought it. Um, yeah, other than that, we're, I'm pretty happy with the way everything's going. So, um, do me a favor, leave me some posts and comments down below. Always love to hear from you guys. Um, semi-successful reefer, looking forward to hearing about more seahorses when you get them. So please post that video when it comes. Other than that, stay safe folks and happy reefing.